Aso in Kumamoto Prefecture. There's an active volcano here that continues to erupt periodically with a massive caldera extending 18 kilometers east to west and 25 kilometers north to south. This area is also home to the biggest stretch of grassland in Japan. It was originally created by the people who lived here and maintained for more than a millennium. This is noyaki carried out every spring. It's a traditional practice of burning grass that withered in winter to prevent shrubs and trees from taking over the land. From the scorched surface of the ground, new greenery flourishes towards summer. People have long lived on this grassland, letting their cattle and horses graze. But because of factors such as the declining number of farming households, the size of the grassland has shrunk by half over the past century. Nobuyuki E runs a farm here. In Japan, raising cows with imported feed has become mainstream, but he insists on using grass from the grassland and domestic feed to raise his Japanese brown cattle. Before there wasn't any imported feed, we utilized the grass resource. Grass was central to what we did, and that was connected to the maintenance of the grassland. Raising cattle on the grassland and using manure and grass as fertilizer to grow farm produce. E has worked to continue protecting the grassland through traditional farming methods centered on grass. A traditional festival still held today has been inherited together with the grassland. The people of Aso have lived here, protecting a farming culture of pacifying the volcano and praying for a good harvest. In Kumamoto City, there's a restaurant that serves E's brown cattle beef. Chef Kenshin Miyamoto says it was after meeting E that he first realized how wonderful Aso's traditional agriculture was. Grass might smell the same, but with good quality grass, the aroma of the meat is really much better. Grilled brown cattle beef and locally grown vegetables Miyamoto insists on using local ingredients. A restaurant's role is to work with local people and use local ingredients. What we have to do is to connect those elements to create food culture that will lead to the protection of local scenery and traditions. To protect the grassland, Miyamoto launched an initiative to promote the attractions of Aso internationally his activities gradually expanded, and with Aso designated a globally important agricultural heritage system, it has generated interest from around the world. In the course of a thousand years, we can only take one or two steps. So various people need to join hands while thinking about ways to make the best use of Aso's foods. By doing so, we're actually protecting the local scenery. I'm looking at things as a chef, and farmers as farmers. What we do may be different, but we have the exact same goal. It's about preserving the grassland. Nature and the farming culture of Aso have flourished together with the grassland. Through the efforts of people who continue to treasure tradition, this 1,000-year-old grassland is being carried forth into the future.